so you need your shea butter raw shea butter you can also use mango butter or you can use a combination of the two you need vegetable glycerin you need your chibi powder neem oil jojoba oil olive oil and you can use any oil of your choice you don't have to use any of these oils but these are the ones that i'm going to be using the first thing we're going to do is melt the butter so in a bowl or in a pot like this pour in your hot boiling water And then put the plastic where your butter is, put your bowl of shea butter or mango butter into the hot water and leave to melt. So after a while, I add my olive oil, I add my neem oil, I have a video on my channel on how to make neem oil, I'm going to link it above, I'm going to add my jojoba oil, as I said you can use any oils of your choice, as you can see it's melting down nicely. Then go ahead and grab your electric whisk and start to whisk in its liquid form. I whisk in its liquid form because I find that it makes it it makes the whole process easier for me. So I whisk it like this for about 10 minutes. So after whisking for 10 minutes, this is how it looks. What I'm going to do now is add the chibi powder. Now there are so many ways to make this butter, but this is the method that I prefer. So I'm adding all the powder to the oil now. And I'm going to go ahead and whisk again for about five minutes. So after that, I'm going to just cover the bowl. I'm using a cling film because I'm going to be putting this in the freezer. I'm going to leave it in the freezer till it solidifies. Um, yeah, so I usually like to cover it just so things don't enter into the mix and put it in the freezer. And after a while, you can see that it's solid and we're going to go ahead and whisk it again in this solid form. At this point, before whisking, I'm going to add the vegetable glycerin. Glycerin is good for moisture, it's a humectant, so I'm going to be adding this to this butter. And then we're going to go ahead and whisk away. Now you can whisk for as long as you want, and also um, the the um, amount of time you spend whisking really depends on 
a lot of things a lot of factors i want this butter to be quite thick so i whisked for about 15 minutes and also the measurement of your butter and your oils will determine how thick or how runny the butter is i have a butter on this channel that was quite um runny because i wanted it to be that way so depending on the kind of butter and the consistency you want you adjust things accordingly so yeah as i said i whisked this for about 15 minutes So after whisking, it's time to transfer it into a container. I like to put my butters when I make them in a Ziploc bag. I find that it's easier to transfer into the storage container. You don't have to. If you don't have a Ziploc bag, it's fine. This is not a compulsory process. You can put it into whatever container you're using for storing directly. But if you have a Ziploc bag, I just pour. you can just pour the butter into the Ziploc bag and then make a hole at one of the corners and use it to transfer your butter So guys, this chebe and neem butter can be used for various things. You can use it as a sealant. That's when you moisturize your hair after the liquid oil cream method. You can use it as a sealant or you can use it as um you can you use liquid and then you can use this to seal your hair you can also add it to your deep conditioning treatments there's so many ways to use hair butters check out my previous hair butter videos for how i used mine and that's all guys this is how the butter looks i hope that you like it if you do don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you in my next video